Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is, of course, Catman Joe, and welcome back, everybody, to another brand new video, guys. Today, of course, we are back on some Minecraft, and today, folks, we are back with another brand new episode of How to Build an NPC Village, guys. Today, I guess, we are beginning, I guess, almost season two, guys. Today, we're going to be working no longer on the NPC Spruce Village, but more on the NPC Plains Village. A lot of you guys have been waiting for me to cover this village, and I know that, folks. I've been wanting to do it for a little while myself, guys, but obviously, you know, I wanted to make sure I got the first one out of the way first, and then move on to the second. Now, you guys may also also noticed this over here you guys probably be noticing it more recently obviously of course and um, the entire series uh, from the original six episodes including all the new ones as well have all been revamped every single episode has been you know remade revamped all the thumbnails titles everything it's all been revamped so i hope you guys are enjoying the new kind of style i hope you guys think it looks a little bit more professional a little bit more i guess adequate and better and um yeah i hope you guys just enjoy the whole kind of new i guess look and layout because i felt like it was a little bit old and it needed a bit of an update guys and it kind of deserved it also so to begin with our little kind of i guess first episode in our plain season two kind of series i guess of uh, how to build an npc village we're going to be getting with the planes or we're going to be beginning sorry with the planes tannery now by the way you'll see a lot of these like tannery one this is because it's on the minecraft wiki this is what it's like identified as i'm guessing or at least i'm I'm sure there must be a tannery too. Uh, I, I, I know guys, just, you know, don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure why they're all like one, two, three, four, five. Um, it's kind of a little bit confusing. It's like the church. There's a, this is actually, I think, church number four. Yet there's only actually two churches in the entire Plains Village. So I don't know, guys. I mean, you know, just, just bear with it. Just bear with it. But anyway, anyway, getting right into it, guys. So yeah, to build the tannery, guys, you're going to need this shopping list. Now, this will be in the description also, as always. So if you guys need it, it'll be down there. Uh, you're going to need three glass panes, one chest, 64 wood stairs, um, another five oak wood. This is all oak wood, by the way. Uh, oak wood stairs, a uh, 20 oak logs, 20 oak planks, one oak door, five torches, one cauldron, 64 cobblestone, four cobblestone, or an additional four cobblestone, uh, one cobblestone stair, and two cobblestone walls, along with four smooth stone obviously i guess uh, blocks himself and that will be everything that you're going to need now this is going to be the layout as well that we're going to be working upon as always uh, you know like the original i guess first season original episodes or whatnot obviously guys we're not going to be building on the yellow lines the yellow are not going to be the areas that we're going to be building on it's only going to be the white I'm... are you serious did i what a, what a bit of what a, what a mistake let me just let me just dump that in there real quick right so let's get into survival and let's get this thing started guys so i guess we're going to want to begin by actually building i guess the entrance probably it's the easiest and probably best option so let's get our uh, out our stair and our cobblestone walls you want to just try and use as many of the resources that you have um fast as possible pretty much not fast as possible but almost like right away as you guys can see right here it gets like a couple blocks just out of your inventory or out of your hotbar pretty much immediately so let's begin with that so yeah we're going to begin by obviously building the entrance now you're going to want to pick where you obviously want to build this and start building the actual i guess original or I guess uh, beginning kind of doorway like this folks and once you've got that that's pretty much just started there we're then going to want to get our cobblestone and the best thing about this house is pretty much if you look at you know like right here you can see it mostly is just like a whole big bed it all goes upwards it's not like it's all built on like the actual ground height so we're kind of just building upon like what we already can in, in a sense I guess have and um, so yeah you're going to want to come right in here like this place one block there you want to pull out your pillars and put these in here we can actually just do the structures real quick as well guys we might as well so um you can also put your cauldron in here you can go one block across from the actual main pillar it's going to go here put your cauldron in you can obviously add water if you wish you don't obviously have to and uh, right here let me just check we're gonna come down here so we're gonna go obviously let me just check here i'm just trying to do all the math and the calculations guys because it's a little bit weird obviously you know doing like this i used to do differently obviously in my old series um so you're gonna want to make sure you go like upwards by one block and then across by three so basically leaving a gap by two in between the cauldron and obviously the new main pillar come two blocks across from that one put another pillar here come all the way around to the back right here come down to the very end so build this lovely little kind of square like uh, square like this not square this little square like this folks now i don't believe there's any more pillars that we need to add uh, or that we need to sorry add i yep that's pretty much everything i believe uh, from here what you can do if you want it's just again to get rid of you know some more cobblestone as quick as possible is put a outline of cobblestone around the entire build like so guys so basically you're kind of now just kind of filling in the area where obviously you're gonna be building most of the stuff and uh yeah that is pretty much you now by the way i, I want to be very specific i'm not too sure about this block right here i don't believe this is here but you know it'll do for now so with our 20 old planks we can now just fill in the entire floor like so folks you're going to want to just fill this all in like this so you've always got a nice little kind of i guess like blank canvas uh, from here as well if you want to get rid of the door right now you can place it. i'm just going to double check how does the door go and it goes on like this i'm um, just going to make sure getting the right way so you're basically going to open up to the right like so once that's in that's your door in here you can also add your two smooth stone actual um, i guess blocks at the very back end way back here against this main wall here and uh, i mean yeah look at that 
that's pretty much us folks now i think this one here i'm just gonna go double check real quick folks because i don't want to get to the very end and be like oh wait i've I, I, you know i missed a block no no this is okay this is correct this is correct all right so we're gonna make this uh yeah we, we can actually add this chest in so right here as well when you come to the front door you can actually add the chest in right here so two blocks back and there's the chest and uh, yeah bob's your eyes uncle there you go you're you know you're good to go that's pretty much all the main blocks being used and now you've really only got like the main bare essentials to actually build the entire thing so we're gonna go at, what two three four four blocks in every single pillar so it's two three four basically i three into the additional ones you've currently got so it's two three four like this all the way around we'll make all these four blocks tall um i've said this in all my previous tutorials folks again and it's a very easy way to kind of remember if you're doing it right or just to double check because there's nothing worse than when you're building something you know like thinking have i done something wrong am i you know you don't want to get halfway into the build and go oh no i've misbuilt this or i've done something wrong easiest way to check folks is this right you should make sure you you know you don't have any extra resources for instance with all those 20 i think it was spruce logs uh, or sorry oak logs that we just had you can see we no longer got any more which means you know we've used them all correctly um so yeah anyway right so stop and then the actual back windows right here we're gonna add an additional back layer like this all the way here we can actually add this i'm pretty sure all the way around like so another layer of cobblestone um because obviously you know it's like when you walk inside you're obviously you know a block above so it's not like you're gonna have the windows down here you're gonna have them on this layer right here so add a layer of cobblestone all the way around you can really see all the resources are right now just starting to really i guess shrink and almost like evaporate in minutes so it's uh it's quite mad honestly um as far as i recall i'm pretty sure you're gonna have like a little kind of window part here so you can basically put one piece of glass right there i am going to go double check with folks because like all my tutorials and it makes i you know there's always one mistake always one don't worry folks you'll, you know you'll eventually have it um <laughs> just you know it's, it, it's inevitable i'm not gonna lie uh but it's always good to just double check and then right here i'm gonna have one of these and i'm gonna go one across and one across like this oh god darn let me get this right here also make sure you've got yourself pickaxe obviously folks i never have that in my you know in the, in the shopping list but it is always very useful and obviously needed um so yeah you guys can see you walking right now we're gonna have one block then a window then one two and then another window then one block like this so it looks like this guys you can also just add a roof obviously not an actual roof roof but an actual uh, i guess ceiling almost like to the actual windowsill area uh, area and uh, yeah now you can just kind of fill this all of cobblestone right here because there's no other areas for any more glass and uh, we can place our glass panes and like so as well and you guys can see right there i mean look at that that is pretty much us almost done guys it's now just time for the roof now the roof guys i'm not gonna lie is a little bit trickier than what you might honestly think you're probably best beginning honestly to to say probably right about here so we're gonna go like this gonna bring these five or sorry yeah well five blocks across add additional one on the edge like this and then obviously of course as well put one here like that so both this kind of like little l i guess kind of style obviously folks as well i'm in creative so i can fly obviously i know you guys can that's why i try and do a lot of it in survival but nonetheless we'll try and work this in the i guess easiest form uh let me just check over here as well i'm pretty sure this is straight let me just check here it isn't it isn't all right so what we can do from here folks is as an up uh, an upside down obviously of course uh, wood stair or oak wood stair like this add another one on top of that as well another one behind it there add another upside down or sorry another oak uh, stair like this here again make another upside down one it's kind of a little bit complicated to get the i guess the style there folks but trust me you'll get it it's not the most difficult uh you know just just try and follow along with where i'm going i know it isn't the easiest to follow along with me because i do move i guess rather fast but i'm sure you guys will get it all right so then we're gonna add obviously some more logs or some more uh, sorry stairs all the way across here again you want to try and add this little kind of like i guess two-tone kind of like little vibe here uh, if you want to as well you can also use some more cobblestone add an additional two onto these parts here and here i believe let me just actually just go double check real quick uh, i'm pretty sure it is yeah two there and i believe there's one more i'm just going to double check this real quick folks let me just have a quick peek uh, right, is it above the door frame? Did we already have that? We didn't add that. All right, that's what it is. Right, so yeah, what you guys want to do is add an additional two onto the back main wall here, another three here, and you should have one left. And with this one, what you want to do is place that above the door, like so. So that looks fantastic, guys. There you guys go. You can see how obviously nice and easy peasy lemon squeezy. Right, now from here as well, we can add just a solid layer like this all the way across with obviously, of course, uh, Oakwood stairs. And if you guys wanted the exact amount that I'm placing, obviously, I would just count re uh, here real quick. So obviously, again, an additional one on the edge, like so. We're going to go with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfectly ten all the way across. Again, adding this style underneath here, folks, so it kind of connects up to the very top here. You can see it has this little kind of like, I guess, uh, roof kind of feeling here. Um, if you look at it from the side as well, it looks really, 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 really nice. And um, yeah, I mean, you guys can probably see right here right now it's really starting to take shape now i'm gonna have to check over here because this is where things do start to change a little bit and it is a little bit more yeah, i guess unique or different uh let me just double check that that okay that's fantastic right so from here right against this main pillar log right here we're gonna go obviously four blocks up so two three 
four, place an upside down one here, another upside down one here, and then right here, another upside down stair like this. So you're gonna leave one block above here. You guys can see it's like, like a one block space basically. And then right here, I did make a little bit of a mistake. So my apologies folks, but again, right, you know, against this pillar here, place a upside down stair like so. Now it does look a little bit strange, but obviously when you put another stair like this here, it kind of fixes it, adds that kind of style where it's like, you can see here, it actually kind of roofs it off and makes it look honestly quite nice. And uh, that's, you know, that's what we're going for, obviously, of course. Uh, additionally, as well here, if you guys want to add this in, you can. You can obviously now two oak planks like so. Obviously, so you've got like a nice little kind of like roofed area right here. A veranda, I believe it's called. That's what it's called in the Minecraft wiki. And I'm pretty sure that is what it's called in general, a veranda. Uh, and then right here as well, we can actually right now, if you really want to, just get rid of a lot of these oak planks, uh, or sorry, stairs, is just totally cap off the entire roof like so. So just drag these all the way across. I'm doing a terrible job with this, folks. So, you know, try, try not to copy me. I'm doing a really trash job right now. Um, but yeah, you guys can see what I'm doing. So we've only got eight right now left. So that's pretty good. We're, we're actually running through these resources remarkably fast. And uh, let me just see right here. So yeah, above this also cobblestone, the part right here in this little corner, you're gonna wanna place one actual oak plank uh, or yeah, one oak plank right there. And then from here, place another one like this. And you guys can see, there we go. So basically what you're gonna want to have is above the door frame, these four blocks here, and you should have four blocks left. You guys can probably tell what I'm gonna do next. You're gonna add them all the way across like so, capping the entire roof off. And now it looks fantastic folks. Now listen, the next part, of course, is about all the, obviously, of course, the torches. I'm not too sure about the layout of this, but the two there, one there, fantastic, right? That's us. So yeah, folks, to finish off the build now, you got three torches left, at least you should if you built this correctly. Add your two torches in like here, and add your extra torch right here above the door. And Bob's your uncle, you've got a, I guess, a lovely little, ta I, I was about to say, I, would call, I was about to call it a blacksmith, that's what I originally thought it was, but right here, right now, guys, you've got yourselves a lovely little tannery, and that is it, folks. That's how easy peasy, lemon squeezy it is to do that one, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys are good to enjoy today's tutorial. That as the end of it of course guys and i hope you guys did go to find it useful as always a quick little tip make sure you've got no extra resources left over at the end of the build if you've got anything extra block wise and you did 100 specifically copy the entire shopping list which will be in the description as well down below just in case you guys need it as well and um, then 100 if you've got anything left over you've done something wrong so go back double check your calculations give it a quick fix and you guys remember there's no accidents it's just a uh, well, I guess there is accidents, I guess. So just, I was going to say there's just happy accidents, but th that's not really the case, is it? Anyway, folks, on that, thank you for watching today's video. Hope you guys did go to enjoy it. As always, if you guys did, though, please be sure to drop a like on it. Of course, if you know the channel as well, please be sure to subscribe. And uh, let me know as well, guys, what you guys are thinking the whole kind of rebranding of the, I guess, series itself, the NPC Village tutorial series. I'm really liking it. I'm happy with where the series is going. I'm happy that you guys are enjoying it as well. And uh, yeah, folks, just uh, let me know what you guys think of it. On that, thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are. And you guys, peace out.